everybody, what's going on? It's Kevin Eastscape Skiffs. Behind me, a very, very tricked out Lossman. Actually, as of right now, it's one of a kind, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about what makes it one of a kind. Starting at the bow, going backwards, we're gonna go over some of the options. First of all, notice the color on this. We haven't done this one in a while. This is a olive drab and a tan with a blackout package going on the boat. This boat is gonna be used in the winter in Texas for, yes, you guessed it, duck hunting as well as backcountry red fishing and trout fishing. Uh, this gentleman's gonna fish a lot with it in the winter, um, you know, and he's gonna cast and blast it, which we're excited to be a part of. Okay, first of all, it's got a removable tongue on it. Okay, basic trailer package, but the removable tongue on it. Offset cleat on is what he wanted. Moving back, we have obviously the new deck layout. He's got a ton of storage inside. It does have a pre-wire for a trolling motor. If he decides to go ahead and put one on, it's just a tap, plug and play edition. Just everything's ready to go. Cooler, obviously, in the front. We have the spray rails. In his mind, better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. So he went ahead and we added these on for him. Obviously, he has the stereo system that he picked out. Moving backwards, we have a offset center console non-jump seat. Uh, it's what he wanted. It's easier path going straight back and forth. So that offset allows him that little bit of room. So he has the benefits of a side with the benefits of a center. So it's a straight runway back and forth. 12 volt plug on the side, very standard stuff. You know, the hydraulic steering, what have you. So nothing special there. Then he's got his head unit right here. We have the grab handles right here and the cup holders. Again, powder coated to match the green. Looks really cool. It's just the little things that tie it all in. The seat cushions here are brown. And in our mind, this looks like one of those King Ranch Ford editions, or uh, King Ranch that you would see out there on the automobile with the color scheme going on. So this looks really cool. So, you know, again, it ties it all in. Then coming back, his power is the Evinrude 60 E-Tech. Again, powder coated. He has the East Cape Stakeout system on the back with the lean bars going on it as well. Now, the real cool thing about this boat is it's an all Aramid, it's all Kevlar. So what that means is, is you know, some manufacturers do one layer on the hull, some manufacturers just put a piece in, you know, whatever, and they say made with Kevlar. Well, what we do, and what we did for him, is the inner outer laminate on the hull, the deck, the liner, the cockpit, the hatches, I mean, everything is all Kevlar. And we actually dropped it down. So he saved the weight on the material, he saved the weight on the resin. So overall, by going to that material, with the savings of weight is or with the savings of the resin that's how he was able to achieve the weight savings a rough estimate because everything is measured by weight in the composite world is we think he saved about 150 160 pounds that is a good number compared you know all around when you do it as opposed to just doing the hull the other thing that makes this different is it is the vented tunnel now we start off with dropping the tunnel in. Our tunnel was designed by our customers and us, a, collabor uh, a collaboration of guys from Texas and the guys from Bahamas. So we give credit where credit was due. However, we perfected it by adding a vent to it. And what the vent does is you drop the tunnel in, you put a flap over it. When you're running, water and air go through. Well, the air goes back around outside. So it's almost like a trap. So you eliminate the air, you create more suction, and you feed the motor better so you don't have cavitation. So what does that mean to you? That means higher speeds for a tunnel. That means you can run shallower at higher distances without, you know, worried about your water pressure gauge. Again, it's just the little things that make it different. And there's a lot of time that goes into building a vented tunnel. So it's just not simply something you just plug and play. It's a lot of handcrafting, a lot of tuning and getting it set up. And again, the loss of is that boat because of the displacement, the length, and the width you know, you already got the draft. And then when you add the tunnel to it, the speed on this, by the way, again, real world speed is gonna be around 31 to 32 miles an hour. Now that's good with a 60, with a tunnel, with a heavy uh, uh, bladed cup prop. So in my mind, that's awesome. Your whole shot is up with the motor all the way up in the jack plate. And you know, you can run with it all the way up, shooting a rooster tail. So it's good for not damaging the bottom. So again, the benefits of a tunnel allow you to run skinny, hop up skinny without doing damage to the bottom. We don't promote, you know, scar in the flats. It's the last thing that we want. And that's what a tunnel does. And that's what this gentleman wanted. It just helps him get to those places a little bit better that a non-tunnel can't do. So again, um, Rich in Texas, we love you, brother. Thank you for everything. This boat is beautiful. I know it's gonna serve you for years to come. All you guys in cyberspace, this boat is headed to Texas and seeing is believing. This thing operates insane. Um, again, I say it all the time. If you're on the fence, you're looking at a boat, you owe it to yourself to check us out. See ya.